Welcome back. This is part two of creating this Soko buying game in Phaser 3. So in the last part, we created this uh, level here with our blue dot and blue box. And we did it using this level uh, array, this level array that specifies the tiles we're using from the Kenny Sokoban tile set right here. If you need to know how to set that up, do, do go back and check part one. So now in this part, we're actually gonna add a character, which is this guy here with his green hat and orange overalls. So we are going to add him into this game. He's gonna do the pushing of the boxes. So we're gonna go here. We'll just keep everything simple for now. We may refactor this code a bit later. But for now, we are going to make the character. So just to refresh my memory here, let's, uh, let's see. So we're gonna basically add a character very much like the making your first phaser three game. Um, let's see. Character player, okay, probably this. So let's see the exact syntax. So this is how we load. So we already have a spreadsheet loaded, right? So that's the spreadsheet we're using. Now to create the character, mm -hmm. let's do, okay, so let's see. Do we need a physics character necessarily? Let's make a non-physics character for now. So let's see, this dot add, this dot add, dot sprite. So we will put the character somewhere else. So realistically, we should be able to specify where the character is in this, um, this, this level set up here. For now, let's just actually stick them at 400, 300 just to see this work. And we're going to use the tiles texture. Okay, so frame. So the first frame we're going to use, probably, which one of these looks right? One of these. Okay, I think this is the outlined version and this is the non-outlined version. So let's go with the non-outlined version. So we know that this is 13 columns 13 items long in this row, I guess. So there's 13 here. One, two, three, four. So it's four times 13. So let's see, four, four times 13. What's that? It's 52. And then plus three, it's 55. Minus one, because we're at zero index base, so it is 54. So 54, okay. So let's just make sure it shows up here over here lovely so now he does have animations so let's see so this dot anoms dot create i'm going to name this we'll also name this left and let's see the frames we're going to use what does frames actually want frames is an array of animation frames so let's see it is from frame numbers, yeah, because we know that. Okay, this dot anims dot generate frame numbers. And the key is still tiles, because we're taking it from the tile spreadsheet we loaded, and then now we want numbers. Let's see. First, no, it's first. The frame to put at the beginning of the animation. Nope. Let's go with start. So we're gonna start. Oh, actually, they should not have been so to speak, but two less. We don't need them to start walking. This is gonna be fifty-two. Just make sure that's correct. There's oh, right, I haven't finished this. It's okay. So fifty-two, fifty-two, and then end. So he. Oh no, that's not. That's not walking. Left. That's the. That's the idle. So walking left, which is this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Back to the calculator. 
So 6 times 13. I'm sure some of you are very good at math and you're like, why use a calculator? I don't want to do the work if the calculator did do it for me. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 78 plus 4. That is 82 minus 1, 81. So it starts at 81. Then end, it is, I believe, 3. 1, 2, 3, that's 3. So 81 plus 2, I guess. 83. So 81, 82, 83. So there's that. Okay, let's check this tutorial again. Frame rate. I'm not actually sure, so we're going to guess. Let's go 10. And yes, repeat. Game this morning again. Okay, so he's standing still. So we have left. Let's just test this, shall we? So we are going to use the cursor keys. So we'll call this cursors, and it's a type phaser dot types dot input dot cursor keyboard dot cursor keys. Yes. So be nothing. And so we'll just get this at the end of preload. This dot input dot keyboard dot create cursor keys. Let's go into updates. And so if this dot cursors, if for some reason this is not created and we're calling update, just don't do anything. So if this dot cursors dot left dot is down. So we have this player sprite. So we need a reference to that. So let's go private player phaser dot game objects dot sprite. So we know that because we're adding a sprite here and this returns a phaser dot game objects dot sprite. Oops. Back here, let's save this ref this dot player. We save this reference. Okay. And so when he goes left, this dot player dot, uh, yeah, animals, right? Leave dot dot play. And we're going to play left. Let's see if I'm right. There we go, left. So that's his left animation. That's good. So we know that's working. So let's go above here. So he has a, so is this, this is him walking. So his idle is just standing there. So this is him walking down. And then he's got a walking up. Okay, so let's we've got left. Let's do right. 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 So let's go back here. So right, if this was 52, correct? 50, no, 81. That was 81. So 81, 80, 79, 78. So 78 to 80. Let's collapse this. 78 to 80. So that's the right animation. Let's go here, else if cursors.right that is down, we are going to play the right animation. So this is down here just for testing. It's not going to quite work like this when we're actually do making this game. So there we go. Look at that. Okay. Now let's add the up. Oh, so I could just copy and paste here, more or less. Everything here is roughly the same. Uh, so let's call this up. So let's see. This is 78. This is eight. Well, we know this is 52. So that's 50 to 52. So 52, because this is what we're looking for. That's down. I lied. So 52, so 53, 54, 55. So 53 to 55 is up. So 53, 55. And go else if this dot cursors dot up dot is down and then this dot player dot anims dot play to extend this dot play up let's see what we got up nope that's not quite right 
because what did we do wrong? 53, 55. No, oh no, 52. 52 is this. So 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 55, 57. 55, 57. Uh, left, right, okay. So the last one is down. Down. And so down is of this, so which is the starting. 52 to 53, 54, 52 to 54, 52, 54. That is down. Else if this dot cursor is dot down, dot is down. This dot player dot enums dot enums dot play down. There it goes. And what we're going to want is an idle. So we could do similar to how the Making Your First Phaser game does this for a single frame. We can do a very similar thing. Let's put idle at the top. So this.enums.create is a key. We're going to call this idle. So frames. Because we need one frame, so we're going to create this ourselves. Uh, Tops, and then frame is 52. So this is our idle, just standing there. A frame rate, frames, frame rate doesn't matter. I don't think that matters. Let's see. So we're pressing nothing. Well, that's not totally correct, but we'll just go with that for now. Dot atoms dot dot play. Right. That's not quite right because if he's facing left, When he idles, and also because this is, is down opposed to just down. And so let's see. Well, it doesn't really matter. So the way this guy is going to move is not going to be quite like this, although I think there is a north playing. So just for our own sanity check he, test here, don't play the animation if you're occupied. So going left. Going right and then back to idle, back to idle. That only works that way. And so here's the question. So let's see. Dot atoms. Is there a way for us to just current atom set frame? Set frame. How can I just make it go to reset? Pause, next frame, key, get frames, check frame. Because we, what we want is just to have him show the first frame. Zoom, show on start, shut down, skip missed frames. Pause. Can I do... So let's pause, do. Let's see, actually. Maybe we don't need idle, actually. Current atoms is null. Can I do that? It's not quite right, because it is still playing. So we could do idle. Hmm. Let's this. So let's, let's try this. Also, this dot player dot 
dot anums dot current anum. And so if there is, so let's see, dot their name key. Okay. So let's switch that. Case left break. Test this. Console dot log left. So let's see. Okay, so what I'm thinking here basically is when you stop moving, now is this even important? This is probably not important. I'll just do it anyway as an exercise in um, showing you how to do it, although this is probably not going to be useful in the actual game. So I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to call this, doesn't really matter. We'll call this idle down. And we're going to make idles for all of these, so now idle down, so there's idle left, and that's going to be frame 81, idle right, and that's going to be frame 78, and then idle up, and that is going to be frame 55. 55. Okay, so I guess I don't actually need. Well, yeah, if that exists, key. So let's just save this. The current animation key. We don't actually need to switch because what we can do is just this dot atoms dot play. And so we named it idle dash. So this is JavaScript string interpolation. So idle dash key. And true as well. So that should basically play the idle up, idle down, depending on what they the, the keyboard left off at. So left, facing left, right. There we go. Now I'm actually pretty sure this is going to be totally useless. Missing animation, idle, idle left. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. If key dot starts with idle, so if not, if not starts with idle, we'll talk about dash. It's more, more accurate. Okay. Make sure we're getting more errors. That's good. So, uh, so likely we're actually not going to be using the character animation this way. So, because in Sokoban, uh, while it does look like you're pushing the box and all of that, you are actually not. Since you, when you, let's say you want to go left and there's a box in front of you, you will move the box and the character, the full 64 pixels, the full tile width over in each move. So you're not really moving things one at a time, which is why we don't really need physics for this. Um, so come back for the next part, part three. We are going to start moving the boxes around and you'll see what I'm talking about, that we don't actually need physics for a push box Sokoban game.